What's up YouTube? I'm Joe and you're watching my channel Ink and Iron with a review today of something a little bit different. So this company reached out to me and sent me their new charging cable, it's supposed to be the last cable you'll ever need. I have something to say about that, but this is called the Future Creative Power Cable. This is a modular cable by AOHI or AOHI, I'm not sure how you say their name exactly. This dent came from shipping, I didn't put that on there. There's the brand logo. So when you pop this open, here's what you get. Let's take a look at the inside panel because this explains what you're getting. So we have a series of cables and their special features are one, an LED light inserted into the final leg of the cable. So the part that connects to whatever device you're charging will actually have an LED indicator of how it's charging and I really like this feature and I will show it off to you in a minute. There is also threading here on this aluminum bezel. It is not on this side because this is a terminal cable. This is meant to plug into whatever device is using a USB-C. This end with the threading connects to the other cables such as this guy, this slinky boy here. This is the coiled cable. This is the one that's supposed to be fun and it is pretty fun to fidget. Although it's maybe a little bit too springy for its own good. I'll show you what I mean here in a second. But we have the same threading on this end, USB-C, and then USB-C female with a collar on here. So how you do this is make sure the collar's all the way down, plug in one of the other cables with the threading, and twist it clockwise up onto there. And that is a super strong connection. Uh, I have not like stepped on it, but you cannot pull these apart. You can't squeeze them and damage them. So I have pretty good feelings about the longevity of this aluminum assembly here on each end of the cable. It is a nice nylon braided cable, it seems. So let's keep going here as to what's in the box. We do get an extra connection collar in case you lose one. There's another cable here. This one's just a straight cable. I'll show you the full length of it later. It has a hook and loop field uh, cable cinch on it that is hidden underneath. The lightning cable, this is MFI certified. So this is an official charging cable according to Apple, which is nice. Here's the inside of the Apple lightning cable box if you're curious. And then this is the carrying case. Now they claim this is silicone. Uh, it doesn't smell like silicone, right? Silicone is supposed to be like just an inert um, material. This smells rubbery, so not sure. Sorry for the cat hair. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. Practicality wise, uh, I'm not so sure about it. I'll show you here in a second. Underneath the silicone case is this diagram. So this shows you what you can do with this cable set. You can charge your phone from a power bank using the short one. You can extend them a little bit and charge from the wall. You can also rig it up to a backpack. I'll show you how I do that. And then you can use the full extended length for at home usage. I think that makes sense. So these are the four main usages for this cable set. On the back side, it explains cable storage. So you wanna tie your two short cables and the long uncoiled cable together. You want to connect the coiled cable to itself. You want to shove them all into uh, this guy over here. And that's supposed to be it. So let me show you how that works. Just take your silicone box here, throw that extra collar in there in case you need it. You want to take your short cables and your long regular cable grab the hook and loop field tie on here. This is also branded Ow High in the same kind of bright yellow color, which is nice. As you can hear, they're fairly jingly. There we go, those are all leashed together. And now we wanna take the coiled cable, make sure that collar's all the way down, screw it to itself, grab the whole thingamajig, and shove it on in here. Now, as you can see, this is not the easiest thing to do. 
there is quite a bit of friction between the cables and the rubber housing here, so whether or not you want to store them like this indefinitely is up to you. I think it looks the best out of your options, probably. Okay, now let's move on. I want to check the length of these cables and see if we can really get the claimed length out of it. Let's pull these out of the case and see how they work in real life and also check the stats and see if they are as long as the packaging claims. First up, the short lightning cable claims to be 10 centimeters and is 10 centimeters. Next is the short USB-C cable. It is also 10 centimeters long. Here is the normal female to male USB-C cable. It claims to be 80 centimeters long and it is 80 centimeters long in the nylon braided portion. The coiled female to male USB-C cable is about 12 centimeters when coiled, which is about five inches. It claims to reach 170 centimeters when fully stretched, that's 5.58 feet. In my experience, when you reach this length and beyond, the coil itself builds up a lot of potential elastic energy. You can see how hard it is to unkink this coil just from pulling it, and you can really get a sense of how springy it is when I let go. Even taking it to only 50 centimeters or so, it has a lot of elastic energy, so keep this in mind. Once I saw how springy that coiled cable was, I thought there's no way to stretch this total package to eight and a half feet. So I linked them all together and my cat decided to help me monitor the situation. Our goal is eight and a half feet or reaching the tape measure end. And once I got about six feet, the whole thing pulled out of the wall. Now let's try charging something. How about my Nintendo Switch? So as you can see, I turn it on and the switch is totally dead. So I plug it in and get the green light for low power. And now I get the blinking yellow, meaning fast charging mode. I set a timer on my Fitbit, sometime between two hours and 40 minutes and three hours and 35 minutes, this decided it was fully charged and went back to green charging status. It takes my Nintendo Switch between three and four hours to fully charge on its own supplied cable. So I'd call this test a success. Now let's see how the inbuilt LED indicators on the cables work. So when I plug in my power bank, I get the green light, which means low current. Then it switches to yellow blinking, which means fast charging. My outlet adapter won't fast charge two devices at once. So as soon as I go to plug in my Nintendo Switch, we go from fast charging mode to standing blue, which is the normal charging mode. You can fast charge a lot of devices such as this Steam Deck but more importantly, I think the coiled cable actually works better with a heavy object like a laptop or this Steam Deck. Kind of lets you reach around a desktop easily. And now for backpack mode. This is probably my favorite use of this cable in my Vertex Gamut backpack. I have the cable fed through what is supposed to be for a hydration tube and an internal camelback bladder but it works just fine for this charging cable and I can keep the phone in the pocket. So let's open this up. I'll show you how I'm running it. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Inside I have a zippered pouch where my power bank is sitting. I have the straight uncoiled cable connected to that and it runs out the top pass through down the side to the pocket. Now that we've seen all of the features of these cables, let's talk about it a little bit. So. For me, the devices I can charge with this USB-C and lightning cable combo include my Kindle, my power bank, you saw my Nintendo Switch, and my girlfriend's Steam Deck as well. Oh, and the iPhone that I'm filming on. Those are all working with this creative power cable. Things that I can't charge include my Fitbit, which needs a USB-A, my older versions of power banks without the USB-C, my LG Tones headphones, which I am wearing basically all the time. These are the HBS 830. And my 3M WorkTunes Connect, they all have the micro USB. So is this the last cable I'll ever need? Maybe, but first I have to phase out my older tech that is still using older methods of charging and data transfer. In terms of being the last cable I'll ever need, I have no doubts about the robustness of these aluminum fittings on here, keeping these plugs in place. 
the cable may fray over time, but it is quite thick and sturdy, so it'll really take quite a bit to wear these down, I think. And I really, really love the LED feature in the cable. Green for low current, blue for normal charging, and breathing yellow for uh, fast charging modes. I mean, that's awesome. I wish all of my cables had that feature. Another thing about how sturdy these are built, I have no problem running these in a backpack. In fact, that's something I've wanted to do for a long time, and I feel like this cable set actually enables me to do that, and so I will definitely be doing that. I have a ton of devices that I tend to use on a daily or weekly basis, so I think this is a use case that will totally work for me, and uh, thank you, Ao High, for that ability. I also think these cables are pretty visually striking. They're going to be fairly hard to lose. If somebody steals one of the cables from you, you're going to know right away because it's very distinctive. So if you were part of the Kickstarter or the Indiegogo campaigns for these cables, you'll know that I have cable set one. That is the one without the little box that plugs into the wall outlet. Uh, so on Kickstarter, that's going to be 99 USD. Uh, MSRP is $140 USD. Uh, that feels like a lot for charging cables to me, but as you can see, a lot of my tech is last generation. You know, I'm charging my Switch in three hours, which is pretty normal, which is like the top spec that the actual cable the Switch comes with is going to do, so I'm not exactly stretching the performance of these cables. If you're using USB-C charging for your laptops and other you know, large battery capacity devices like that, this is probably going to come in a lot more handy for you and you're probably going to be more willing to spend 100 bucks on a charging cable set than someone like me. That being said, the durability of these cables I don't think is in question. The maximum length is maybe a little bit exaggerated on the box. The look and the visual appeal are, you know, pretty good and I do like the LED indication feature. So overall a very good set of cables. So thank you Aohai. Uh, follow the links in the description if you're now interested in this cable set. Thank you for watching. I've been Joe and you've been watching Ink and Iron, and I'll catch you on the next one. All right, bye.